2018, election day. So, because I, I already told you we got them to s- stop doing this in Georgia, but now I'm going back in time. 2018, election day, Google on its homepage uh, posts this, go vote, everyone go vote. So Google does this. Now, the question is, were they sending it to everyone? I don't know. But let's assume they were sending it to everyone. Okay, the first thing that happened that day was all the major news services praised Google. Praise Google for for doing this amazingly good public service, right? And I looked at it and I immediately said, that's not a public service. That's a vote manipulation. So I sat down and I did exactly what a data analyst or data scientist at Google would do. And I just ran the numbers. Okay. And by the way, this is something we're, we're also studying. It's called DDE, the differential demographics effect. The fact is Google has more Democrat users than Republican users. So if they sent that to everybody that day, that would give 800,000 more votes. It would give you know more votes to everybody, but it would give 800,000 more votes to Democrats than to Republicans. This is spread across, again, midterms, so it's hundreds of, hundreds of races. So if they sent it to everyone, it, they, they win. So if, uh, if Google is biased towards Democrats in terms of users, what are the Republicans using? Uh, as you know, in recent years, uh, uh, Republicans and conservatives, they have set up, uh, tried to set up a number of platforms of their own. Parler is one. Yeah. So they're, you know, they're... they're Social media platforms. Right? Yeah, they're trying to, you know, carve out their own, their own world, their own niche on the internet. So they don't have to use uh, these inherently biased uh, platforms. 